So you're laying in bed awake at night, tossing and turning, wondering to yourself, what is the difference between a normal, regular drill and a hammer drill? I mean, I get it. It's one of life's great mysteries. Not, are we alone in the universe? What will happen to me after I become unalive? How does Clint have such an angelic voice? No, those are not the questions. The question is, which one should I buy, the hammer drill or the normal drill? Well, don't worry, my friends. Today, I'm gonna explain to you what the difference is between a hammer drill and a regular drill, and why me personally, I would only choose one over the other. All right, so let's take a closer look at these. I wanna talk about some of the symbols, the build, and the pricing. So when you're walking through the store, you're probably looking at a couple of drills that look exactly the same, but have different price tags. When I stare at these, there's really not that much difference, but there is. Now, this is the same brand, came out the same time, but this is the Flex and their Pro Grade Flex Compact Drills and Hammer Drills. If you start out by looking at the base where the bat ray goes, they look pretty much identical. And that's because they are. The light goes up in the front. They're both 24 volts. If you look at them from the back end, they basically look like the same height and size. The only time they really start looking different from each other is when you're looking at them from the side view or from a top view. When you're looking at a hammer drill and a regular drill side by side, the hammer drill is always going to be a little bit larger. It's also going to be a little bit more expensive. Let's explain why. So let's take a look at the regular normal function of a drill and then we'll compare it with the hammer drill. So your everyday normal regular drill, you're gonna see there's a one position, basically drill. You'll also see up on top, there's different clutch positions from one all the way up to 17 on this particular unit. The hammer drill also has the drill icon up on top and it also has the different clutch positions. But here's the main difference. The drill only has the one drill icon where the hammer drill has three different icons. You see, the drill, the regular drill, is only good for one thing, it's drilling. I don't even use these to drive in screws. Myself and a lot of pros driving in screws, we would use an impact driver. So a regular drill is a one trick pony. If you're driving in spade bits or you're making a hole with a regular bit like this, well, a drill is fine. This is something you would use to drill through plastic, metal, wood, hang pictures with. But if you're a professional or you know a professional that's in trades, you might wanna go with the hammer drill. Now the hammer drill can do everything a drill can do. However, a drill cannot do everything a hammer drill can do. Remember when we mentioned that there was only one icon up on top, the drill icon on the drill, and the hammer drill had three? Well, there's a reason for that. Here's what the icons are. The drill is obviously a drill mode. There's a driving mode. That's the one that looks like a screw. And then you got the hammer mode. All right, let's take a look at the regular drill. We're just gonna drill down through a piece of this. Treat it six by six with no pilot holes. There's a high and low setting on both of these. Basically the same thing except for the extra functions on the hammer drill, but let me show you. So that's the faster mode, nice and smooth. That went down through that wood is real nice. The hammer drill will do the exact same thing. But watch what happens when I flip this over to that hammer icon. Now you probably ask yourself, what was that noise? Why was it so much more annoying to my ears? Well, that's the hammer kicking in on the hammer drill. And that's where the hammer drill shines. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I have a cinder block right here. So a lot of professionals, they need to go through concretus, especially when they're using tap cons or they're trying to put their studs up against the wall into the concrete, into the cement, whatever. Now your regular drill is great for wood, metal, and plastic. And so is your hammer drill. However, a hammer drill is also meant for the concretus, the cement, the cinder block. So if you're hanging studs up on a wall, you're trying to finish a room, this is what you wanna use, not a regular drill. Let me show you. This is the regular drill. This is going down through a regular concretus block or a cinder block, cement block. If I wanted to attach tap cons or a piece of wood to this, what I would have to do is drill a hole down through. Problem is you only have the one setting, so. All right, so it worked. It went down through the center block, but the center block's a lot softer than the concrete is. So if you were going through the concrete using the same bit or the center block, which we're gonna do again, look at the difference between this and the hammer drill. I'm gonna switch this over to the hammer drill mode. It's gonna disable that clutch. Three, two, one. 
Do you see the difference between the drill and the hammer drill? Even though the hammer drill can do wood, metal, and plastic just like the regular drill, you can put special masonry bits on this and go down through the cement and the concrete. Where a normal drill, it would take you way longer to get down through the center block or especially concrete, even while using the exact same bit. You see, on a regular drill, you just have some teeth turning on the inside, and that's what's spinning in that drill bit. And that's basically the same function when you're looking at the hammer drill when you have it on the drilling mode. However, when you turn this to the hammer drill mode, hence why this is a little bit bigger, now you have a hammering action going on on the inside of this drill. It's basically taking that drill bit, instead of just spinning it, it's hitting it at the same time on the way down. That's why you got that high buzz of B type of noise. So instead of just this bit doing all the work, you got the bit spinning and it's hammering down on the inside. And that, my friends, is real nice like. What may be best for me may not be best for you, and vice versa. I don't know what you like. But for me personally, I would never buy a regular drill over a hammer drill, simply because of what I do. I need that hammer drill function, functionality. So I would be willing to deal with something that's a little bit bigger and a little bit more expensive. On the other hand, you might be somebody that just needs to drill through wood, plastic, or hang pictures. You're not planning on going through cinder block, concrete, wall, whatever. So the hammer drill function just doesn't make any sense to you. Now you can save some of that sweet, sweet money and just go with a regular drill. But remember, there are different grades, there are different strengths, there are different RPMs on a lot of these drills. And if you wanna see which one's more of a DIY setup or more of a professional grade, check out that video right there. I think you're gonna like it very much. Also, if you know somebody that wants to know the difference between a drill and a hammer drill, share this video out. Be greatly appreciated. We'll be back more videos soon.